I want to hang on before I want to I want to <clears throat> ask yeah. a question here real quick before because I don't get a lot of we don't get a lot of WWE guys on the show because for some I don't know <laughs> so, more so for than some reason we're WWE we're guy. so toxic that people can't come on our show or like so um give me give me like the stereotype of like the average WWE writer. Uh, I we we were. Like Is there a lot of diversity? Tight, the writers or kind of are oh, the no. writers kind of all the same? Oh, there's kind of not a lot of there's not a lot of diversity. No. <laughs> yeah, give me an example. Give me give me an example. I want to hear. So like, here's the here's the problem. Not it's not the problem with the writers because we had a great writer when especially did. with the model thing, yeah. and um because we went out and did that YouTube show on our own. We did all that by ourselves. By the time they actually wanted to give us like a push on on their end. They were very receptive to everything we had to say. We would, uh, they'd ask for ideas and they would just do our, our pitches, um, which did not happen at any other point in our career. Uh, so we had a pretty good relationship with the writers that we had. But the problem is, is you've got a lot of writers. And at the end of the how, day, how many? Can you give me a say a number. Give me a number. So I, I was in production meetings when I was on commentary. And for a show, you probably got what do you think, Mansoor? 10, 12, like I'd say 12 15 writers. Show. Yeah. Yeah, 12, 12 for show. For- and at the end of the day, only one person makes the entire all of the decisions for the show. Right. So at the end of the day, one person is booking everything, and the writers are just scrambling to try and make that booking come to reality. It's not a collaborative process. So um for the writers, it's a very difficult job because I'm sure they get into it thinking, oh, I'm going to help write this show. You're just writing lines for what whoever the, is at the top wants the show to look like. They're writing dialogue. They're not writing the show per se, right? Whoever the booker is, Vince or Hunter, will say, I need something for this guy, this guy, and this guy. I want these guys to do something together. And it's the writer's job to kind of make that happen. Not so much actually figure out who is doing what. So basically, it's like you get the the writers are there for like, all right, we need some good lines on the show. There's 12 writers here, and then whatever yeah. one, whatever lines are good, those are the ones we're using on the show. And that's yeah, basically and then with the uh, with right, Vince, yeah. with Vince specifically, we'd get a script, right? And then every once in a while, it would be a, a highlighted or bold part of the script. Mm-hmm. That would be a part of the script that Vince wanted specifically, as opposed to something like anything else was kind of negotiable. If it was yeah. something written by a writer, it was negotiable. But the bold highlighted section was word of God. You must say it and you must say it how he wanted it. And sometimes it, it wasn't even dialogue. Like there's there's one time where Sami Zayn uh, walked into Vince's office while he was speaking to somebody. And Sammy goes, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. And Vince says, well, you did. So then Sammy <laughs> goes and talks to his writer and his writer gives him a piece of paper and it's his uh, segment. And Sammy notices that on the segment script, it says highlighted in bold in the directions, not the lines. It says on the script and then Sammy uh, walks in and interrupts like a rude <laughs> and Sammy was like, why is this highlighted? I'm not saying it. Right, right. Uh, great. <laughs> so. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!